Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank everyone for those who subscribe to my channel. I set up my sincere thanks to you guys. Keep on liking the videos, putting down the comments, and sharing out to friends. And for those who are new to this channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Today is a very good day whereby I have a friend of mine here, a brother, who want to share out things they know about Africa and the misconceptions they, they know about Africa. So, welcome to the channel and uh, be entertained. Thank you. Welcome, my brother. Welcome. <laughs> You doing? I'm doing fine, my brother. So, first of all, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Pleasure we're going to do a collab whereby we're going to enlighten our people, let them know things uh, you guys know about Africa, and uh, we want to change the narrative. We want to change the game. Yeah. So, first of all, let us know who you are and where you're from. My name is Ricky. I'm from uh, Texas. Uh, we from Paris, Texas, but I grew up in Galena, a military town, so people in and out. So, hey, I got a blessed to get a job and then take me around the world, and here I am. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, to start with, my brother, uh, what are the misconceptions you've had about Africa? Uh, a lot of the misconceptions is, uh, one, that the... Our ancestors, our African people, don't like African Americans. You know, the, you hear slangs like the, "he's a true African," and but you know, we all descended from that. And I think you know, in our on our society, we feel like we can never bridge that gap. But I think personally, if we ever can bridge that gap, oh, it'll be a wonderful and beautiful thing. Uh, you know, like if TV don't display like. The beauty of Africa. Right. They show you either someone's hungry, starving, diseased, and they don't show that there's a lot of countries in Africa now trying to get the resources. Right. But that's the thing they don't show us. But we think it in our head, even in the local communities, you'd be like, oh, that's the African community. But then you have the African Americans. Right. You know, so, and they think we don't like each other. But I think that's just, a, like you said, a misconception. Between us, you know. Right. So, what countries have you visited so far? Man, I'm on like three passports, right. <laughs> and that's not extra page. That's just going. Man, I've been a lot of places. Man, uh, I happen to got to go to Djibouti. I remember it's hot, but by me working, I really didn't get out to see the city. I was there like just two weeks, and I was trying so hard to get out to just see something besides. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's Djibouti? It's, that's the capital of Africa, correct? Uh, Djibouti is a uh, country out there in oh, Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, is Africa a continent or a country? A continent. Thank you. And uh, you said you've changed a lot of passports. Rather, you've got a lot of passports. Yeah. That means you've traveled a lot. A lot yeah. That means you've been exposed a lot. You've known a lot right now. Yes, sir. And I know that uh, all the misconceptions that we've been hearing about Africa. Is it true or is it not true? Oh, it's not true. I just give you a quick story, man. I was in I went to the club in Dubai. Right. And I had met a girl and she told me she was African. I think she's from Ghana. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I looked her up and down and her face was like, You lying, you ain't from Africa. Right. And she was like, <laughs> Why I'm not from Africa? Right. I'm like, You're not from Africa. And she asked me why. Mm -hmm. And no disrespect to my people. I was like, Hey, on my TV, they just show like you hungry, you starving. And like, they don't never show no one this this beautiful. Right. I'm talking about skin is dark as night, but I'm talking about like no blemish. Wait, wait no a minute, wait a minute. I was amazed. Wait, wait a minute. Just so long. <laughs> Do you want to do you want to tell me that in TV back wherever you come from they don't show the beauty of Africa? No, no, and I'm so you never believe that there could be like beautiful African women. Yes, I did not believe it because that's what I seen for years on my TV. Right, and, and I was 23 at the time. Right. So, and I'll never forget, I ran back to the hotel my guy, and I called all my friends, because Ludacris had a song out, yeah. The Beautiful Girl in the World. Mm -hmm. And then, in one part of the song, he said, 
the most beautiful women in the world mm. is from Africa. Right. And I was telling my friend, Little Chris ain't lying. Little Chris ain't lying. Right. I was just telling about mm. like all the nice. I mean, like all the skin tones. Mm -hmm. and, and I came in, uh, came in contact with a, another chick from South Africa. Right. And, and just to know that she had blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm like, she, she said she African. I was like. No, what else? No, what else? Yeah. Then I learned that's the last descendants of the British mm -hmm. that was in Africa. Right. See, I never knew that. Mm -hmm. And one thing I think that America is the only national, only place that we classify people as a couple. Right. Yeah. I never met, even though she was fur skinned, she never said I was a white African. Mm -hmm. She said I was. I'm South African. I'm right. like, mm -hmm. no, you ain't. You ain't. You ain't from Africa. Now, you know that's another misconception that you never knew. And I'm calling my friend. Man, I met a white girl from Africa. Not saying on race too, but I never seen that. Yes. And that was just amazed me. Like, man, we come in all shapes and colors, you know, size. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm telling everybody that. Yeah. So that means that narrative of not having beautiful African female is the rest out from your head. It is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So what do you tell brothers and sisters who are out there who think that we as Africans we don't like them and I tell them all I said man y'all the most kind loving most respectful people I know right. and but I don't know why how can we we men uh men that gap yeah. and, and come together as right. one to see because like I said the conception is so strong mm -hmm. That like I'm, you can go to African communities and you won't see the African American. Be a lot of Africans and from local areas, and right. you be like, man, why don't we just do business together? Why don't we just interact with each other? But it's like we're the only ones that don't do that. You go to the Chinese, what we call a little Chinatown. Right. All they work together. All the Asian cultures, every other culture work together, but us. And it's so hard to to beat this bridge down and right. tell people like, hey, we are brothers. Right. And the phrase is brother from another mother. But the mother is the motherland. That's true. So, you talked of Djibouti. Uh, you've worked before in Djibouti. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to any other no. part of Africa? No. So, out there in Djibouti, did you get to uh, work with the locals? I worked with them. Yeah, I worked with a few locals. And they were just so cool, man. It was like, I see. I see my heritage in them, right. and all of them used to tell me, "You, you Nigerian, you Nigerian." Right. I'm like, How am I Nigerian? And I was bigger at the time. Right. They said, I guess because my facial structure, and my cheekbone, right. and my size, they said I was a Nigerian. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to do like the 23andMe or Ancestry.com just to see, because it's always been in the back of my head. Right. Because they told me, "You Nigerian." I'm telling you, Nigerian. And just some of the things they used to do, uh, uh, the little conversation we had, it was like. I see us, and it's like yeah. it was me looking in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Like it's like <laughs> it, it's amazing to me. Yeah. And a lot of people from their local neighborhoods that never go outside their circumference, mm -hmm. they never get to see that. I never get to experience it. Or too scared to even try. You know what I'm saying? It's like right. you know. So your experience back in Africa. Yes. How would you shake out to the rest of the world? I think, man, uh, get out of this. Like in America, they think everybody in Africa were dashikis, mm -hmm. you know, camel riders and right. something like that. I'm like, right. no, they got beautiful buildings. Right. Beautiful jewelry. And I tell, and I tell people, us as ancestors, we come from kings and queens. Right. We was the first established on earth that showed mm -hmm. a queen right. how to treat a woman. So what you see in the portrayals on the TV, that's not us. That's not our her heritage. That's, that's not our ancestors. And I try to put out, like, if you can do anything, go to Africa. Like, right. me and my, I'm planning on me and my daughter, we planning a trip. Mm -hmm. We was going to go this year, but I, everything's going on. I want to take her to Africa, and I want to go as well. Right. So she can see, because I taste it like, like, we make it, but, like, I tell you, golly, the real, how they make it. Right. And it tastes like, it, like what we call grapes. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that the delicacy back in Africa you're talking about? Or yes. you're talking about ugali? Yeah. That is the African simple food. Yeah. So we do eat ugali and the greens. Greens they and call, uh, we, uh, we, we call, call them collard greens. Yeah, yeah. collard greens. Yeah. Yeah. So back in Africa we call the sukuma wiki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's our staple food. 
So, did you like the delicacies? Yeah, I, I the cuisine. Uh, what is y'all y'all doing with a? Uh, because I noticed in some parts she was telling me that the meat, uh, some meats are delicacy. Mm -hmm. And it was like y'all do some with a lamb, with a, a goat, lamb, sheep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, man, it was just so good. I thought I was eating beef. And when she told me what I was eating, a goat, and I was like, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, I wanted some more. I got some more. I ain't gonna lie, I wanted some more. And I was like, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was delicious. And just to see that culture, like, you know, me being in a culinary field, you know, I can make it, but it's so different when someone from that area make it. Right. Because they put that uh, that secret ingredient in what I call love. You know, that's it's never on the shelves, mm -hmm. it's never in a recipe book. Right. But especially when they make it, making the food for someone else. You know, if they put the love in it, and I right. just, man, I loved every minute. I, you can taste the love in it. Right. You know, so hey, I loved it. What have you heard about it, Tokyo? A few things you've heard about it, Tokyo. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I had, man, I heard the skyscrapers. Right. You know, and that big building, they said it is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And that's why I want to go to Texas. Another thing, you know, there's a time I was working uh, in a foreign country, mm -hmm. and um, I was working with a uh, some few Westerners, mm -hmm. and uh, one of them asked me, "Do you guys have tall buildings back in Africa? <laughs> what do you think about that?" <laughs> it just they mind, cause once again, mm -hmm. is what you see, and I feel like if you don't train yourself, the TV will. So whatever you're watching on TV, that's your conception that you, that's your perception that you have. Excuse me, of it. Until I actually be there, you know, I couldn't really get out, but I could see, like, man, hey, you know, it ain't what everybody thinking it is, man. Right. Like, I seen the guys with the nice suits on, mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm like, man, it is more than dashikis over here. That's right. You know, I'm like, they use iPhones, you mm -hmm. know, you're a mm -hmm. thing, but yeah. like you said you won't think it's nothing that, but I, what people don't understand, you got to think outside the box. That's right. If they show you this on TV, Africa is the richest continent in the, in the world. Right. With all the natural resources. Wait a minute. When you talk of Africa is the richest continent in all the world, man, do you know, <laughs> brother? Do you think Africa is the future? Yes. Yes. That's well, why. What makes you think? Yeah. What think Africa is the future? That's why I don't travel a little bit, so that's why you see the China man is over there, right. the English man is over there, the American man is over there. Right. Every nationality is over there for what they see something. Right. So what they see, I see. But I want to see in depth. Right. Maybe invest. Mm -hmm. Get business started. Right. Because I know it's a way people do international business every day. Right. Why we can't do international business together? Why we can't keep the money with us? Mm -hmm. And I know we can. Yes, I can. respect Akon. Akon doing the, the, the thing with the power. The yeah, lights might be, yeah, yeah. That's all Man, up. that's like somebody had to back him. Right. Somebody back him. So why is it so big? Because Africa is the future. All the natural resources are there. At the end of the day, 20, 30 years down the road, if U.S., Europe, Saudi, if they run out of natural resources, what do you have to trade to your allies? That's why everybody want to go to Africa. That's the resource. That's it, brother. It's the resource. Mm -hmm. All the resources here. And y'all got so many. Uh, I got a... Uh, it's made out of like not bamboo, but it's made out of wood. Right. But it's wrapped with bamboo straps on it. Mm -hmm. And I've been having this table since 2006 when I went to Djibouti. Oh, okay. And let me tell you, I done moved three or four times. This table is the strongest table. I done replaced the glass that right. sit on it now. Uh -huh. But the, the the stand itself is. I mean. So you got the table from Djibouti. You took it back to the stand. Yeah, I took the, the stand and I okay. just got a glass cut okay. with some little uh little markers that the glass sat on. Right. But I'm telling you, the stand is so strong and sturdy, man. It's like, I don't know what can break it. I'm like, unless <laughs> you got to be a gorilla or something. Yeah, we got, we got <laughs> the original stuffs back in Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's time for us to change the game. Mm -hmm. And for us to change the game, we have the new generation to make things different. Mm -hmm. Let us uh, stop this narrative that we've been hearing get ready and travel out there, you know? Mm -hmm. Get to see how life is outside 
from the from the from the comfort zone mm -hmm. that we've been living in. Yes, sir. That is the only way out we're gonna change this game. So our brothers who are all over the world, this is the time for us to change the game. Let us make it happen. Let us bring the change. And the change is now. Welcome back to Africa. Africans love you because we know we are one. You're all welcome in Africa. Uh, to finish up, uh, you say that uh, people say that you kind of come from Nigeria or something like that. Have you tried to do some DNA thing because the ancestor, ancestor.com and 23 of me. Uh, I've been debating on which one, but you know, it's a you gotta, you know, you gotta weigh your pros and cons for the right. identity theft and whoop, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I do, um, I'm looking forward to tracing it down because I want to see. Because, like I said, that that right there just been on the back of my head. Right. I'm Nigerian. Yeah. I wish I could go back to Djibouti and find yeah. the lady to tell her, like, you was right, you was yeah, right. right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Not this morning, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, thank you for watching our interview. What do you want to tell our viewers out there? Tell everybody, get outside your comfort zone, go see the world. Mm -hmm. It's more than your city, your town, your country. Explore other cultures. Right. Let your mind grow. Because if you don't train your mind, they will. That's as favorite print. That's deep. So stay tuned to our channel and uh, I wish you the best luck as you find your way back to motherland. Uh, for those who are new to this channel, please keep on uh, subscribing, sharing out this channel, and uh, let's grow together in this channel. God bless you. Bye-bye.